All right, this is Phoebus Apollo, and um, just doing a short video review of PCSX2 version 0.9.2 or 0.0.9.2 or whatever. And uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and play uh, Dragon Quest 8, and uh, not going. I of course am playing it out of the disc. And I did not download it from the internet, especially not from Torrent. So, that aside, uh, let's go ahead and give it a look. Um, you can see the graphics are very jittery. And uh, I considered doing a Let's Play for this whole thing because, uh, you know, despite the graphics being extremely painfully jittery, um, it's actually a very good, pretty stable game. So, um, you can see there's our protagonists. Um, that guy is you. And there's a green thing, and a uh, fat guy who uh, likes to talk in an accent. It's funny. Alright, well, here we go. Birds flying, something or other. Uh, skip this. Skip this. Need to get out of here. And I felt it important to uh, try to do a review for something like this, because for one, I've been wanting to do kind of some kind of Let's Play video. And uh, for two... I wanted to sort of give an idea, or give a video showing the progress of this emulator, which is pretty good, i got to say. You'll notice here when it hits the, uh, gets off the 3D graphics, it hits back to the screen, and the FPS just goes through the roof, because it does a really good job emulating that. It's just the uh, graphics are mainly the issue here. So let's go ahead and get in, and why is my controller dead? My controller doesn't respond while I'm recording. I hope not. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue my adventure. And I'm selecting my game. Doopy doo. And you'll see how painful it is to play, but it's actually stable enough to play, surprisingly. So. <coughs> The point of this video is not to necessarily go through Dragon Quest VIII and uh, you know show you game you know gameplay of that nature or to give you any kind of tutorial. It's more or less just to show how uh, how good this works with the uh, the actual emulator and to uh, show you exactly uh, what you can expect if you want if you want to download it and play it right now. I do know that um, this emulator is uh, still under development, and they've got a new update coming pretty soon that they keep talking about, and uh, it hasn't come out quite yet. But um, the really shitty thing is, is that being a PS2 emulator, the, the main games that people have been perfecting the emulator for are the Final Fantasy games, which are garbage. And, uh, you know, I mean, really, besides that, you know, pretty much just the Final Fantasy games. So unfortunately, and the Japanese imports. So unfortunately, we have not been seeing much action in terms of developing this for, uh, you know, like, decent games. But the PS2 didn't really have many decent games, so I guess this is more to the point. What should I expect? You'll notice the animation is very slow, but the uh, the actual gameplay is standard, standard time. It's just you get maybe 30, 20... FPS when you're moving, which if you use Auto Frame Skipper, it'll actually skip those frames, and you'll play at a normal speed. You just won't see the, you won't see all the frames, obviously. So it won't be a smooth animation. You can see I'm getting down here and just kind of jotting off, doing my own thing, and it may seem like it's a little slow, but in reality, it's probably just a wee little bit slower than how fast I'd be going if I was playing the the regular version. This guy's kind of a slow guy to begin with, and um. Well, you know, to tell you the truth, I actually, uh, uh-oh. Oh. Well, that put a stop to that. Um, well, I guess I should just, uh, damn. Well, I guess no more reviewing of that, because, uh, that's kind of bullshit. But it was pretty fun. So, um, that's what you can expect if you try to emulate a PS2 on your computer. Now, I have clocked about two hours of gameplay into this thing which is sufficient enough to get past the first level area thing. So, um, give me a second here. Let me see if I can't pop it back open again. We'll see if it can't work one more time. We'll give it a shot. 
I think that's correct in the frame. Get in there. And safe states are really useful because you can just zip right off to where you're going when you have the screen highlighted. Alright, there we go. So we're back. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Well, one thing I'd like to note is as soon as it gets out of the 3D gameplay, it actually, uh, it, it's pretty nice. Let me just get into the menu real quick. You notice the menu here is perfect. I mean, uh, besides terribly minor graphical glitches, it's perfect. And, uh, it's easy to get my character stats and whatnot. And, um, I really wish I was recording this when I fought that first boss because that was a bitch and mildly entertaining as whereas this is just sort of mundane but uh... alright let's get the hell out of this city and hope we don't crash this time you notice there are moments of clarity when the uh... all the frames align and the planets and then it crashes well this is the most crashing I've ever had uh... maybe I just can't do this with Camtasia or something but um, alright. And just to give you an idea of the specs I've been using, uh, I've got a AMD Athlon Dual Core 5000 with a, uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM and a NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GTS with the 320 megabytes. I did get the cheap version. And, um, well, I didn't get a, get, get, didn't get a chance to see the actual gameplay I wanted, but so be it. So, uh, this is Phoebus Apollo, and, um, you know, maybe I'll do something different this next time. Showcase a different, different emulator. Alright, well, later.